not a traditional tree. Definitely a magical blossom tree. We have the base in place. Look at the size of this thing. Definitely not right. Look at the size of the trunk compared to that. Why does it look weird? Merry Christmas. Did you see... I'm happy. Did you see it? Yes, they look lovely in the picture. Do you know what that reminds me of? The alien bases at the Antarctica. Uh -huh. There's a big hole in Antarctica. Comments? I didn't expect it to be that big. Yeah, it is a bit big, isn't it? Yeah. Is it OTT? Not why you're standing there. So. No. More is more. Hello guys, join me today when I'll be clearing the front table, making way for our new Christmas display. Now this is not your normal kind of Christmas tree. So we have our tree <gasps> in the box. You can see not a traditional tree for Christmas. Definitely a magical blossom tree. So we've got two big boxes. Um, not really sure where to begin. It's a good job. I've got the professionals in. So I've had to hire a professional DIYer in today, AKA dad, and a professional tree dresser, AKA mum. My mum and dad are coming in and we've got a big task today. We need to clear the table, where it's all gonna go, no idea. And construct the massive three foot tree, I think it's three feet. It'll fit, it'll be fine. Okay, so so far we have the base in place. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, it's a proper tree. Rainforest. We have blossom everywhere. Not that Why? Well, look at it. It's brilliant. Go on, get on with it. I'll just observe. Hey. I'll just observe. So my job, well, that's been constructed, is I need to clear this. Now the shop is rather full. Ooh. Oh, it's big, isn't it? <gasps> there must be something in the top as well. Yeah. The thing is, look, they're metal brackets. Well, they, well, you know, look, they snapped them off. Let me see this, look. Obviously, they took the bracket off. You just snapped the screws. That is definitely not right. Look at the size of the trunk yeah, compared to the, that. Yeah, but once you've got the branches on, you won't see the, the trunk. No, there must be another bit. My mum's excited because she just found a five-leaf yeah. clover yeah. outside. Yeah. I think she stuck the leaf on. <laughs> Yeah, look, it's a 16 and that's 16. And that screw goes in that hole. It's going to be three foot, is what it said. What? Three metres? Yeah. That's three metres. That's but, two metres, look. That's two metres? Yeah. That's just under two metres, that is. Yeah, well, it's going to be three metres. So there is another bit. This bit? No. It is, Kimmy. Look, that goes in there. Why does it look weird? Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that is big, isn't it? Right. I need to find me some bits. Number two is what we need. Right. We'll start building up. 17 yeah, on 17. the side. Yeah, but 17 goes in it. 20, so is it this side, isn't it? No. Huh? Isn't that 20? 20. Okay, right. <laughs> nine, seven, and ten. Don't make sense. That's nine, four, five, six, where's seven? But I just said we could stop now, it will still fit in the skip. Did you see um I'm not happy? Did you see it on a, a picture of it? Yes, it looked lovely in the picture. Didn't look like that, that's for sure. 
Yeah, so we've got to move that because that's where the tree's going. <laughs> and that sphere is 25 kilos. So you're feeling strong? Do you know what that reminds me of? The alien bases at the Antarctica. What? There's a big hole in Antarctica. And when they go into it, it's all a crystal world. Where... Oh, that? Yeah. I thought you meant the tree. <laughs> that reminds me of plenty. So my mum's going to start a side business selling four leaf clovers and limited edition five leaf clovers. <laughs> How much then? Special for Christmas. Oh, that one's got to be worth. At least a tenner. Yeah. At least. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's a good sign for the tree, is all yeah. I can say. I'm the creator. Look, that, that. Can you see the vision? Tweet, tweet. Yes. Hum, hum. Exactly. You lost the plot. Oh, it's coming to life, guys. It's very slowly, but it's coming to life. So this is the before. I'm going to get clearing. Look at what? <laughs> Is that bringing me luck to yeah. my uh, vouchers? Yeah. Lots of people are going to buy them now. We'll yeah. see. If they want, when they have to come and ask me piercing, I have to go bite them off now. Okay, specimen cabinet special. Yeah. Progress. We're getting there. We are at the, at the scratching head yeah, moment. Yeah, is it? It's not much to get on the table, really, if you think. Just that little base. Oh, <gasps> my danglies, my danglies. Okay, so that needs to go on there. I am just adding the branches now. Um, my mum and dad have left, so it's just me. I've got to find all the little holes on here and pop in all of these branches. So I need to get on the table. So I've managed to clear most of the table. Just had a little bit of a clean. I've just got these two beasties. I need to figure out where they're going to go. I'm thinking this one in that corner, this one in that corner, only this sphere is 25 kilos. And then this one, remind myself, is yeah, 69 kilos. And I am going to attempt to move it myself. It's just, I'm that type of person that can't wait. I have to try and move it. I might scratch the table. But I'm too impatient because I, I need it there right now. Not tomorrow, not the next day. Dusty, dusty. Might have to do a bit of a sage as well to clear out the space. So whenever I clear spaces in here, like I'm doing now, clear a table. Once I've cleared it, I like to give it a good old sage cleanse. <laughs> did move it it was actually really easy just slid it along that one there and then the tree is taking shape so i'm still adding branches i'm still finding holes and then i've started to add my decorations so i just couldn't resist i haven't finished the tree yet but i just couldn't resist getting out a few decks so yes magical forest here we come <sighs> that's the face it's now half seven, been here since nine, but I'm soldiering on because I've got all the decks out. I've put a selection of crystals out. I've 
got my decorations out as well. So now I'm going to dress the tree, I think, and the table. We'll make a good headway anyway and decide what's going where. Um, so I'll show you what I've got planned. Oh, we've got a naughty elf. Hope he gets up to no good. No, that's not what I meant. Hope he doesn't get up to no good. I've got mushrooms. I've got flowers. I've got spirally things. And then I've got crystally bits as well, like this. Yes, very nice. So what I'm going to do is, I think, put a few crystal caves here. And then, like, actual Christmassy bits, like Christmas carvings there. And then this side, I think I'm going to just put more spears out. And again, more Christmassy carvings at the front. But my theme is pink, obviously. Um, white and purple-ish. Um, so, yes. I'm going to do a bit now, head home, and then I'll come back in the morning and show you what I've done. And also it'll be brighter, because I've got the shutters down at the moment, so you can't really see. Um, so I'll see you in the morning. Good morning to you. It is Friday. I've got my Friday face on. Um, but the tree... It's got a different face. It's got a happy face. It's got a very pink face. So we have a bit more going on on the table. It's starting to look quite full, but it's Christmas, so we can do all of the sparkle. I'm going to turn you around and show you what I've done so far. So on the tree, we have all kinds of sparkly things. We've got birds, we've got angels, fairies. Dragonflies, oh, such a mystical forest this is. Mushrooms. And then in the middle here, on the base of the tree, we have just basically lots of crystals at the base of the tree. Very magical looking. I've delved these out. Sparkly mushrooms um, and sparkly pumpkins as well. And also my Christmas carvings. I've got gonks, trees, Slays, snowmen. Um, what have I got over here? I think I've got a whole load of Santas going on. Yeah, a whole load of different Santas. And then I've got more to put out here as well. So, yeah, I'm gonna get filling the table. Ian's gonna come in, he hasn't seen it yet. So, I'm sure there'll be. A few comments from him saying, oh my goodness, what is going on? And I'll say it's pink and sparkly and lovely. Ian's arrived. Comments? Wow. Oh, it is wow. It's wow, yeah. Really magical, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm still adding magic. And big. It's got like... It's so 30 percent magic at the minute didn't expect it to be that big yeah it's a bit big isn't it yeah is it ott not by your standards no, no. <laughs> more is more a little bit does it need turning which yeah. way that rotating yeah i've already rotated it a bit <laughs> yeah yeah ian's worried about people hitting their heads on this, but I say they're in the forest there. It's like, look, I'm going in, in I go, I'm in the forest. Ah, oh, magic. So here is the finished table and tree. I'm really happy with it. I had my head in the game, so I didn't feel much more, but here's the finished result. So you can see, I did move that big bit of amethyst off. I just felt like it was too dark and too big for the table. I went with pinks, clear colours, kind of like whites. So lots of rose quartz, clear quartz. We have clusters, carvings. And of course, sparkly pink unicorns. Would it be the same without a sparkly pink unicorn? I don't think so. So I'm really happy with the table. I think it looks really beautiful. And it's definitely got magical forest vibes, which is exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to leave you now to have a little mooch of the table. Enjoy!